Take some deep breaths all the way down to your toes. And tell yourself you're grounded right here. This is your spot. This is your space. Your experience of the breath is something no one else can experience. Your experience of your mind is something no one else can experience. They can measure electronic waves in your brain, but that doesn't, doesn't tell you what it feels like to use your brain, to use your eyes, to use your body, to feel these things from within and to have a sense of control over them. How is it that you move your hand? How is it that you move the body? This is something you directly experience. It's also at this level where we're suffering. But as the Buddha pointed out, it, the solution to the problem lies here as well. So you would get fully grounded in this part of your awareness, the part that's totally yours, and see what you can do about it, how you can understand what's going on here inside. And learn how to act on your desires for happiness in a way that's really effective, that leads to a happiness that's worth the effort, a happiness that's harmless, a happiness that lasts. It's all from within here, so you want to be as fully grounded in here as you can. This is one of the reasons why we work with the breath, because it's one of the aspects of our inner experience that we can exercise some control over. If you don't feel like you can control your mind, at least you can work with your breath a bit. And then as you work with the breath, of course, that trains your mind, so it's more and more under control. And you get to know it better as well. You begin to realize what mindfulness is and what alertness is, how they function and how they can function poorly and how they can function well. All this comes from being centered right here inside. So if you find your awareness wandering out outside, ask yourself, where are you going? Why are you going? What are you looking for? And nine times out of ten, you'll find that it's just looking for entertainment or looking for just something. You say, well, the work to be done is mostly in here inside. I mean, there are chores we have outside. There are things we have to be responsible for outside. But the inner work is where all the really important work gets done. So even as you're doing outside work, make sure that the inside is fully clear to you, or as clear as possible. Now we can catch things as they come up, and you can catch them in time. 